What if the problem that Jesus came to solve makes it very difficult for us to understand the problem that Jesus came to solve? In fact, what if what Adam and Eve lost in the Garden of Eden wasn't just a connection to God, but what if they lost was a way of seeing? If that were true, then the way they think about the problem is already affected by the problem. Let me try to illustrate it this way. If I lose my glasses, which I need these fairly badly, if I lose my glasses, I've got not just one problem, I've got two problems. The first problem, the obvious one, I've lost my glasses. The second one is the way that I find lost things is what I've lost. I would submit to you that I believe the same thing happened to us in the garden. When Adam and Eve lost their connection to God, they also lost their ability to see, perceive, and process spiritually. And because of that, they began to see and process everything through the knowledge of good and evil. See, the thing that Jesus came to do for us wasn't simply to get us to behave in a certain way or even to just, uh, just forgive us of things that are wrong. We have to understand what went wrong to understand what he's done to make it right. What went wrong is that Adam and Eve were once connected deeply to the tree of life. It was their source of being, it was their source of seeing, and their source of knowing. As long as the breath of life was in them, it moved through them, and they could see and know spiritual things as well as natural things. When they turned to the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and that became their source, they began to think in a different way. There's something about the way that we think about getting back to God that has to do with avoiding bad and doing good. But isn't that just the knowledge of good and the knowledge of evil? See, Jesus didn't come to get us out of the branch called the knowledge of evil and into the branch called the knowledge of good. Jesus came to turn us again back to the tree that we were originally connected to, that is, the tree of life. When Jesus said, I came to give you life and life abundantly, it wasn't just a metaphor. He really came to give aliveness.